Hi guys, for today's video, I took Basil to Pets at Home. So, we took Basil to Pets at Home today because, you know, he hasn't been in a while and we always take him to our local um, golf course and we just thought, why not take him somewhere different today? Because me and my sister both had the days off, really. So, we were just kind of like, why not take the dog somewhere new? So, we didn't take Annie and Molly because Molly finds it really stressful and Annie is... Annie and Basil, when they're together around other dogs, they scream their heads off. Basil hasn't really been socialised very well with other dogs when he was younger, so he only really gets along with Annie and Molly and every other dog he growls or barks at. He has actually got a socialisation lesson on Wednesday. Next Wednesday, yeah, a dog's trust to help him, a one-to-one -one socialisation class. So he is alright with, like, labs, but just not dogs like Shih Tzus or other terriers, or especially the terriers like Shih Tzus and other terriers he's horrible with. Sometimes he's okay with Labradors, sometimes he's not. just kind of depends. So, yeah, and there's only one dog in there and it was a Shih Tzu and Vazel and that Shih Tzu barked, barked, barked at each other. So that was interesting. So let's begin with the horse. So I'll just go show you what I got from B&M So I got this pack of dried, Glenwood dried meal worms. And this is only, I think, a pound or one pound ten or something like that. Then I got, which is Vazel's favourite, because um, Annie and Mark, well, Annie has one of these as well. They only get these super vars. I think they get them for about ten minutes, twenty minutes a day. So it's 100% natural paddy whack. And I have no idea what to make out of. So it is, and he's getting really excited by it. So it's just basically beef. So yeah, it's 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 a really natural treat. We prefer feeding our dogs stuff like this. I don't like feeding my dogs all the sugary treats. So you know, and I think that was only one pound fifty. I think it's like, you know, so I've got a dog memory. Yeah, don't know where this is. I think that was one pound fifteen or one pound ten, two pound ten. It's either one pound ten or two pound ten. Then I got some Vitacraft drops. These are in the parsley flavour. These used to be Pinky, my past Russian dwarfs hybrid favourite thing. I just love these. So these are twenty five percent off, and these are the sugar free ones. So they're normally two. They're normally I think two pound fifty, and they're reduced to one pound forty seven. They don't run out till August, so you know, so I've got two months on them. Then I got some Harry Hamster because I'm running very, very low in hamster food at the moment. And, you know, I just thought, why not get some Harry Hamster? Because this is the main bulk of my hamster food diet. They get a whole bag of this mixed in with other food. Where's the... I cannot find my own language. There we go. So, it is a really, really, really nice food, actually. I've got a great amount of fibre, great amount of protein, great amount of fats, and it's quite varied. But I like to mix it in with other foods, and that was one pound ninety nine. Then I got these, which Basil doesn't like. Annie and Molly love the salmon rolls. These are the Harrington's Natural Choice Wholesome Salmon Rolls. And yeah, here's just what the composition is. And these were, I think, one pound ten. They weren't very expensive, or one pound nine. I think these are actually one pound nine. Then I got some Vitecraft. Rollinis, I haven't bought these in years. Like it was a very, very long time ago. The fact last time I bought Rollinis, so yeah. And they were in the wild berry flavor, and they were one ninety nine, which I don't think they're worth the money, so I don't really buy Rollinis quite a lot. And now I have the new packaging of the um, Burgess XL dwarf hamster food, and I don't feed this as like a staple for my dwarfs to be on for my dwarf Ash to be honest with you. It's just something like sprinkle on with. The, with his main seed mix. So I make my own seed mix, I mix several seed mixes together. But I used to love this when I fed it to him, but it's got a lot of heat flakes in. So, yeah. <laughs> you mean all kitty? And this, I have no idea why this was reduced to be honest with you. So, let's have a composition that is in English. I have no idea what an English composition is. I can't even find my language. There we go. So it's not that it's, it's not that I would never feed it as like a, a complete food, but for me personally, it just hasn't got enough like variety in it. Well, my other foods have. So that's all I got today from Pets at Home and um, B and M. I'll show you guys Basil's reaction to his little thingy because he's never had one of these before. So I'll show you this reaction now in the garden. But thank you guys for watching. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. Look side hard. Excited. Spin. Good boy. Paul. Thank you. Oh, you sat. You've never sat before on command. Oh, my God. It's so big for you.
Keep them like there you go. So it's like you'll get a lot of love. Do you not like it? Do you want to give it Annie? Yeah. You, you were dying for that before. <laughs> How cute. Thanks.